In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can make sure you collect every single penny you make off of your music. All right, man, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the necessary steps you need to take to collect every single penny you ever make off of your music, all right? First and foremost, this should be the no-brainer. Number one, you need a distributor, all right? You need a way to get your music out there, all right? So you can use services like DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, Amuse, United Masters, there's so many. I personally use DistroKid, and from time to time I, I use CD Baby. I have my reasons for why I use these things, and I have my reasons for why I don't use some of them, all right? But we're not gonna get into that, that doesn't matter, right? Pick the one that best suits you, do your research, do your Googles, and figure out which one is good for you, right? So you can actually get your music out there, right? Now once you get your music out there, what's next, right? Distributor is gonna collect money from streams, and from downloads right from streams and from downloads right those are the two different incomes you receive from your distributor right you have the money made off of every time your song was streamed and then you have the money made off of every time your song was downloaded all right people need to understand that it is very different you make more money off of downloads than you do off of streams right unfortunately as of right now 2022 january 30th that's what it is right so you have streams and you have downloads those are the two different sources of income that you receive once you are registered with your distributor all right your distributor all right so you understand step number one get a distributor all right i'm personally with distro kid like i said and through them i receive my money off of streams and downloads all right you got it cool let's move on number two you need to register with a pro when I say pro, what do I mean? A performance rights organization, right? Such as ASCAP, BMI, that's just to name a few. I'm personally registered with ASCAP. I am 24, I turned 25 in a couple days, and I've been with ASCAP since I was like 15 or 16, man. I was so young when I signed up that I had to have my mom sign off in order to become a member. I was so young, I had to have my legal guardian sign off on the paperwork in order for me to become a member, right? So I've been associated with ASCAP for so long. They collect your royalties, right? But they collect performance royalties such as um, live performances. Like when you go perform places, you get paid for those performances outside of the actual payment you receive when you get there. You get a performance royalty. Without ASCAP, there's no way that's gonna be collected, all right? So, live shows. If you want your music in TV shows and movies and stuff like that, ASCAP is gonna collect all of the money on the back end from those things. So. One, distributor. Two, pro, performance rights organization. You need these for sure. You need everything I'm gonna mention in this video, all right? Number three, digital performance rights organization. So you have your pro performance rights organization that collects stuff from live shows, TV, movies, uh, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Radio. Boom, 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 right? Now you need a digital performance rights organization such as SoundExchange, all right? Now what does SoundExchange do? SoundExchange collects royalties from non-interactive radio stations. When they say non-interactive radio stations, they're talking about radio stations such as Pandora, where you just click on it and they just shuffle songs and you don't get to choose the songs that get played, right? You don't get to choose the songs that get played, all right? And if your song is played on there, you have to have a way to collect that royalty. And through a digital performance rights organization is how you collect that. Also, they collect royalties for the master owners, and performers master owners and performers what is a master owner right you, you hear these talks right like i own my masters i own my masters what does that mean when you own your master that mean you legally own the original file 
to that song. The actual file of that song, the actual audio, you own it, right? So, Sound Exchange pays master owners and performers, right? So, you might be thinking like, okay, I'm both, right? You're independent artist, nine times out of 10, you're both, right? Unless you sold your masters to someone else, or maybe you wrote the song and someone else performs it. So, whoever is the performer, they're gonna collect the cut from the performing royalties, right? You have master owner, you have the performer. That's what Sound Exchange does. It collects for the master owner and for the performers. Now, last but not least, you're gonna need one more thing. I know you're thinking this is a lot, man. This is a lot. Last but not least, you're gonna need a global music publishing administrator, such as Song Trust. Now, what does Song Trust do? Song Trust collects royalties on the behalf of songwriters and publishers, right? So, like I said, if you're an independent artist, nine times out of 10, you're the master owner, you're the performer, you're the songwriter, and the publisher. I know for a fact I am. I'm the master owner, the performer, the songwriter, and the publisher, right? But, like I said, you have to collect all these different incomes separately there's not one service that just collects all this stuff for you so pay attention man and um i'm gonna give a deeper breakdown once i get through this one this is actually the last one but i'm gonna actually go back through and tell you what you need to do to sign up right but listen right so song trust they collect royalties for songwriters and publishers anytime your song is played anywhere they're tapped in they're collecting and that's how you collect your royalties as a songwriter and a publisher, all right? So you have your distributor that pays you for streams and downloads, right? You have your pro that pays you for like live performances, TV, movies, uh, radio, stuff like that. You have your digital pro that pays you for masters, performers, right? Right, they collect the royalties for the master, owner, and the performer. Then you have global music publishing administrators that collects your royalties for songwriting and publishing, okay? So let me run back through, all right? So distributor, right? I'm, I'm gonna give you a ballpark of like what you might be looking at, right? Distributor, personally, I use DistroKid. DistroKid can be as cheap as $20 a year all right and you can upload as much music as you want to that's not the plan i have but you can use that plan twenty dollars a year great or you can go to cd baby where you pay per album or per single and you just pay one time right and you don't have to ever worry about it again all right and cd baby is actually partnered up with i want to say sound exchange or don't quote me on this i'm not 100 percent sure but they're partnered up with one of these companies where they will collect those extra royalties for you uh so look into that if you know if that might be a way that you can x out one of these steps if you could do two steps in one all right but yeah so your distributor right like I said, I use DistroKid, boom, I pay one fee a year, I go crazy. Or you could pay uh, per album, per single with CD Baby one time, never worry about it again. Or you could go to TuneCore and you pay per album, per single, but you have to pay yearly, right? I know a lot of people starting out, you like, that don't even sound good to me. That's how. I, that's exactly how it was. That don't sound good to me at all. Cool, boom, you got your distributor. Now you have to get your pro, right? I would recommend ASCAP or BMI. Like I said, I've been with ASCAP since I was like 15 or 16. Never had any problems. Uh, I register all my songs through them when I put them out. I mean, actually, before I put them out, boom, never had a problem. Then you're going to get your digital pro, right? Sound Exchange. And your digital pro, the Sound Exchange, it doesn't cost you anything to register with Sound Exchange, right? doesn't cost you anything, right? So right now you're looking at, let's just say $20 if you go with DistroKid, or you're looking at zero until you put out your first album or single, depending on which um, distributor you choose, right? So $20 so far, not bad. Then you have 
your global music publishing administrator, right? Song Trust. Song Trust, their membership is a hundred dollars and you pay this a hundred dollars one time never have to worry about it again and i actually skip one as cap i have to pay fifty dollars to get in right fifty dollars for the application boom 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 the whole process fifty bucks not bad but with ASCAP, I registered as a writer and a publisher right so i did both so it, it really cost you a hundred so let's say Twenty dollars for DistroKid, a hundred dollars for ASCAP. That's one twenty, right? Then Sound Exchange, don't have to worry about it. Song Trust, another hundred dollars. So two hundred and twenty dollars up front to make sure you collect every penny you ever make off your music. It's not bad, you know what I mean? I guarantee you, as long as you grinding and really putting out the music and um, really uh, constantly elevating and growing you're gonna make that two hundred and twenty dollars back i've made that two hundred twenty dollars back off of my music alone right i'm not just saying oh i went and worked and made it back no like i've made more than two hundred twenty dollars off of my music okay so i've covered that expense already right even though i said i've been signed up for years so by now i better had covered that you know what i mean but it's not the point right so 220 dollars to get started and make sure you're collecting all your money doesn't sound that bad to me it's a great investment it's something you need to do if you take this music thing seriously man this is what separates the real ones from the pretenders man are you a real one are you a pretender are you a real artist songwriter producer or are you a pretender man do you really want to get every single cent you make or are you cool with just just letting it just sit in limbo all right let me know right hopefully this video help you man um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe because y'all know king buzz is a vibe you feel me we gonna keep growing we'll keep going strong y'all know what's going on it's your boy king buzz and i'm out of here yeah